Welcome to Awesome Time. This is the show where I debut all the new stuff on VAT19. There's also gonna be a Golden Gummy Challenge, so stick around. And quick product update. We've got new styles of feisty pets. They've just come in stock. We got the polar bear. We got the panda bear. And the bunny. All right, here we go. Welcome to episode 111. As always, please subscribe to the email newsletter. That is where you get your coupons off your next order. Okay, first product up is Scrawl. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna need to invite a couple people in because it's a minimum of a four person game. Let's get going. This is a really fun game. It's sort of like a doodling version of telephone is the best way I can kind of explain it. Before we get going, I have to mention one thing. We at Vant19 totally want to sell this product, but we can't because right now it's only available at Target. So instead, the folks from Scrawl have actually sponsored this video. Each of us is gonna grab a card, it has a phrase on it. We need to draw the best version we can of what it says on your card. Okay, let's all draw a card. It's about to get phrazy. Don't let me get see it. the card. Whoa. <laughs> what? How am I gonna draw this? How's everybody's drawings coming? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Okay, everybody's done with their drawing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, pass it to your left. Okay, <laughs> grab one of these new pieces here, add it kind of on top, and write down what you think it is. Pass that to the left, grab another sheet. What? All right. <laughs> is this specifically? Oh, yes. <laughs> so whatever's written down now on your stack, you have to draw. I don't know how to draw this. Sorry, Kara. All right, so pass to your left again, your new drawing. Go ahead and write down what you think you see. All right, so everybody's done? Mm -hmm. Okay, pass to your left. Now you should have <laughs> your original one. We're supposed to yeah, present now, it. yeah, now we present it and whoever we feel like had the funniest one wins a point. Tickle a pickle. <laughs> we should say that this game is for 17 and up again. Right, yeah. Yeah, tickle a pickle. And uh, the first one was, guess was Silly Putty. <laughs> Classic, they would guess that at about 19. That uh, was pretty good drawing. Yeah, and then bounce it, stretch it, and tear it, and then that's what they said, so. I think just because it's a good photo, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> the other one, there weren't very many funny ones in that one. Point. So I got a point! Everyone knows what that is, right? Mm hmm. That's uh, man eating a pizza? Choking on donuts. Choking oh. on donuts! Oh. So we have DJ eating his vinyl records. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> you can see that, right? He's gonna spin it. That's pretty good. DJ. Yeah. DJ Lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he was licking on a lollipop. DJ eating his vinyl yeah. records. Yeah. Frisbee decapitation. Oh. Okay. oh. So that was supposed I to be see. a frisbee and that's the head fell off. My head fell below the line. <laughs> okay, this drawing. Yeah, it's pretty is, close, right? It's pretty Kinda close like to yours. my drawing. Yeah. And then beheaded man. <laughs> so we did okay. I kind of like this one. My head fell below the line. <laughs> yes. My card was Snail Jockey, and so oh. this is what I drew. Oh, yeah. Like a snail on a horse. Yeah. Okay. Snail horseback riding. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh -huh. A snail on a horse. Uh -huh. Horse riding snail. They okay. say okay. if it comes back to you and it's the same thing, then you get three points. So I think that counts, right? Wow. I mean, it's close enough, right? Like Maddie won. Yeah. Yeah. How did you guys like Scrawl? It was great. That was yeah, good. That was, was a fun game. The next time you're at Target, pick up a copy of Scrawl. All that scrawling has made me hungry. Oh, these are mega loads. Snacks on snacks. Essentially what you've got here is like a Reese's peanut butter cup on the bottom with another snack on top. Oreo cookie on top. Chocolate chip cookie on top. M&Ms on top. How crazy is that? I'm going in for this one. Mm. Oh, the flavor combo is amazing. We got a whole nother set here. This other set is essentially a Reese's with caramel inside and then another snack on top. So you've got boom, M&M's with caramel inside, Butterfinger with caramel inside, and then you've got basically like crunch bar crunch things on top of this one with the caramel inside. Let's do, let's do m and caramel. Oh, you see that delicious caramel coming out of there? Oh, oh, oh. Those are mega loads, my friend. I've taken up a new hobby, birding. I'm hoping with my sneaky flask here, I can find an elusive whiskey willet. As in, will it get me drunk? Check that out. It looks just like a binocular, but it's a flask. Comes with a funnel, so you can just uh, grab a little drink here. Actually holds up to eight ounces on each side, my friend. Both sides open up. 
In addition to the binoculars, this uh, set also comes with a hairbrush. So you can get a sneaky flask hairbrush or an umbrella. Look at how realistic this looks. Listen, no one will be the wiser. Until you start drinking from the hairbrush. <laughs> well, that you do in secret. Right, right, right. Sip out of my umbrella. Mm. Those are sneaky flasks. Available now at vat19.com. For this next product, I gotta make a little space here. This is uh, Yuli the Yeti, a mythical creature stuffed animal. Look at how big and fluffy this guy is. We've also got these cool new gnome stuffed animals. So some more kind of mythical creatures. We got a large one and a medium sized one. I'm a child of the 80s. So I think of the uh, angry Yeti from the uh, Windows Ski Free game. Holler, if you know what I'm talking about. And then and this, I'm kind of thinking of like David the Gnome, love that TV show. So go ahead and drop in the comments your all time favorite yetis and gnomes. These are the mythical creature stuffed animals. You know what this means, we got a table product. This is the Super Mario Brothers question block light. It's officially licensed from Nintendo. And when you hit it, it turns on and off and it makes that cool coin collection sound. Now you can actually switch that off. Boom, so it doesn't make the noise. This product is awesome and it's this episode's Golden Gummy Challenge. I'm gonna need Eric to come on in here. <laughs> Hey, Rick. I've been on a losing streak. Yeah. I'm feeling good about this one. This is going to be our chime in button for okay. some trivia questions. Okay. Kara is gonna be reading us some trivia from off screen and the first one to chime in and get the question correctly gets a point. You ready? I'm ready, Jamie. Kara, first question, please. <laughs> in what classic game did Mario first appear? Uh, it was Donkey Kong. Yes. Do I bet you were gonna say Mario Brothers. No, I was gonna say Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. What was Mario's original name? Uh, Mario's original name? Oh, I know! Jumpman! Yeah! Yes! What? No, that's yes. Michael Jordan as Jumpman! All right, it's okay. tied up. Nintendo, the company, first got its start by selling what? I'm gonna say playing cards. Yes. What? Really? What? Yes! It's been so long! You deserve that one. Playing cards? <laughs> Bring in the punishment! Eat a Carolina Reaper gummy bear? Wait, what is that? It's like a little one, right? It's on a big gummy. Oh. Show no, that to the me. camera, folks. <sighs> Why don't you just bite the head off? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yummy, but spicy. It's so spicy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's no way I could eat that whole thing. Whoo! I'm gonna hear me off camera all the rest of the episode going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a day! What a day! All right, for this product, we had to back the camera way up so that you can see the inflatable dinosaur costume. Bring it on in here. <laughs> this thing's great. It's got a little fan in there to keep it inflated around you. You can see out through the hole there and uh, you look ridiculous anytime you move. We don't have a lot of room here, but I thought we could get Eric to dance for us. How about a little uh, Macarena? Dab for me. <laughs> How about a little Running Man? Watch that dinosaur whip. <laughs> Little mayonnaise. <Yeah, mayonnaise. laughs> Can you twerk? Keep twerking! Never stop twerking! That was great! All right, that's the inflatable dinosaur costume. All right, bring it in. Okay. This, my friends, is the watermelon ball. It's a really thick, durable rubber ball. It looks like a watermelon. And you fill it up with water using this included needle hose attachment. You screw this onto a hose and you fill this sucker up with water. It's an awesome game to play in the pool. It's kind of like rugby in the water. You're just trying to get this ball to the other side of the pool. The only rules really are that you have to pass the ball underwater 
It can even bounce underwater because it's neutrally buoyant. An awesome, fun game. It's quite a workout. We're confident that if you go and get yourself a watermelon ball, get a couple friends together, you'll have an awesome time playing this game. Available now, that 19. Catch care. Okay, next up. These are solar system marbles. That's the sun. These are beautiful glass marbles. There's a total of 10 in here. This one's probably Venus, I think. Look at that. Beautiful looking marbles representing 10 celestial objects. You got the sun, all the different planets. Get these little rings so you can place these guys wherever you want on a table or something. Man, all I can say is marbles are hot right now and this is one of the coolest sets of marbles I've ever seen. Love these guys. These are the solar system marbles. Buyers now at bat19.com. This is mad matter. This is great sculptable stuff. It's kind of like a Play-Doh, but a little different. It's similar to Sand. John and Joey did an episode of Peep This for Mad Matter, which you should totally check out because they go into a ton of detail of all the cool stuff you can do with this. You can kind of stretch it. It's easy to clean up. You can really mold it into stuff. It's very sculptable and will hold its shape. Whoa. Mad Matter comes in a variety of colors. We've got blue, green, and pink on the site right now. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Check out Mad Matter, check out the peep this to learn even more about it and buy yours now. All right, we're table topping again for the Phi Top. All right, this is a really cool spinning top. They call it the Phi Top because the Greek symbol Phi stands for the golden ratio. Its height is 1.6 times its uh, diameter, which kind of gives it this really cool kind of egg shape. And as you saw when I started, I just gave it a quick spin and it spun up on its own. If you get a really good spin with some practice, this can go for a couple minutes. So it's a really cool desktop kind of fidgeting toy. It does some really cool things with the light um, as I'm standing staring at this, the reflections of the lights here is getting this like really strange spinning pattern. That's the Phi Top, available now. All right, we made it, time for fan art. What a great collection of fan art. Thank you so much for sending that. If you want to send in your own fan art and see it on a future episode of Awesome Time, here's the address right here. Just go ahead and send it on in. All right, folks, it's been a great episode. I think it's about time to wrap this thing up. As always, thank you so much for watching. Check out the videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Snapchat. We do weekly giveaways. So that's why you need to follow us on social media every Friday. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.